everybody and welcome back to the Falcon 64 project. Welcome to back to the second part of the third member build of the 8 inch rear end for this uh, Falcon 64. Today we are putting together the pinion into the third member housing and putting the posi into the third member housing. Hopefully finishing up third member. Um, so we're going to start off with the pinion and get it mounted in there and then um, we'll start working on the posi. So I started off measuring the uh, the shim that was in the original open differential pinion and it was right at fourteen. So uh Hope you can see that there. Anyways, so it was right at 14. And what I decided to do is go four up since I'm going to a, a lower pinion. So I should be right around 18. One of these is I'm right at 19. So uh 19 and a half. That's about as close as I was wanting to go four up. And each one of these, one is a seven individually. One of these is a nine. And the other one is, I want to say 10. Tight 10, 10 and a half. So, and then the other two that came with the kit, one is a five, and the other one is a seven. So anyways, I decided to go with the 19, two of them together. So bring you back over here to the pinion and how I'm gonna start this is the gloves on of course So to start this, I got to get the O-ring onto the housing. First, I'm going to start off some grease. Just kind of lubricate around the housing so it slides in nicely. So it stays lubricated. You want it lubricated so when you're pushing it down into the housing, this is going to be a tight fit. So we don't want to cut it, nick it, anything because it would cause a leak. And then this pops right on up into the loop. Next, we'll be uh, taking a little grease and putting it inside. The housing. Get your shims on. That took a minute. All right.
9 16 so I'm just going to kind of scoot it and work my way around. Slowly popping it in there. With the grease there, it should help that seal just drop right on in, slide in, but yet stay. Keep on going around. So once I get them snugged up, I'll start torquing them. And I notice I didn't put any um, thread lock on it, just because I'm gonna sit there and wait for, once I get the uh, posi in, to do my measurements on that, in case I do need to change their shims. So this is 35 pounds. All right, I got the pin in there. I got two of them already done. I'm just starting off at 10. Up to 30. on up to 40 because it says between 30 and 45 foot pounds so all right so the pinion's in it's torqued down now we're ready to flip it over So for this, I'm gonna put down pop this off. Put it down like that. Put that down like that. And we're ready to flip it over. Here's where we're at. As you can see, pinion bearings in there. I shaved that down before. I'm hoping that was enough, but we're gonna have to check that here in a minute. We can look around and see that the seal is completely all the way around it. It's not split out, so we're good. So now we're bringing in the posi with the bearings already on it. Slitting it down. And what I did was I tried to center it. Right there. Get some light in there. So you can see where awful close on that 
pinion bearing housing. But we do appear to be centered as far as that goes on the I'm counting the threads. Just going back and forth. I got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. I could probably go over one. So right now, uh, I got the, the bolts and the uh, retaining clips and all that. I need to clean those. So I'll bring you back after I clean those and get those ready to go. All right, bring y'all back. I got the uh, adjusting, I guess, screw, coupling, whatever you want to call it, um, cleaned along with the bolts and retaining uh, clip and all that. Just cleaned it with acetone and uh, washed them up. Threaded this in there, making sure that it was nice and even across, meaning that they, all the, uh, it's not cross threaded within the, the housing there. Also wanted to bring up, I don't know if I brought it up before, but so these, this has been redone before. It's marked with two here and two up here. So I kept all this together separate from the other side that is marked with one. So uh, I got one sitting in there uh, soaking right now in an acetone. And as soon as I get that back, I'll bring you back. All right, everybody. Just came back from uh, cleaning up the left side. Basically, screw this on. This does take a little bit. You want to get this on nice and square so it goes in and out of the threads nice and even. Get that nice and tight, see? So you can sit there and thread it back and forth. Like you loosen this side a quarter, tighten that side, back and forth. So I'm just snugging it up to exactly where it needs to be. Checking again my clearance. Basically, the amount of clearance I have is piece of paper thin. We're gonna let it ride for right now and see how that comes out as far as uh, with the uh, let me come check the book. So let's just start with the left side. Just like that. Put me a little thread locker on. And tighten 
sure I got this correct. Just going back and forth with it where it touches. Make sure I still got For spanners, I'm using these. Yep, so I still got. Play in it. What I'm doing, I'm just nugging them back in. A little tighter. Tighter. pounds is what my sheet says for the 8 inch and I'm gonna, I'm gonna start at 40 since I'm already there on my yeah still good still good Alright everyone, I got my dial indicator up here, I got it all set up, and right now, you can see I'm dealing with 12. So, what I need to do, is I need to tighten that down, and tighten that down, we're back at zero. down to 11 we need to be between 7 and 10 so all I'm doing is I'm 
tightening one down and the other one down. Zern it back out. So right there, I'm sitting at seven. Alrighty, so I will put the locks in. Tighten those down to where they need to be. I already torqued the uh, main ones there. And the next, I will paint it and see how it goes with our markings. I'll bring you back when I, uh, when I get them painted. I was gonna bring you back for the torquing of the adjuster nut. Now we're at 10. So now we're going on up to 20. three of these paint comes with the uh, kit really this kit has everything that you'll need Alright everyone, wanted to bring you back, show you where we're at on the paint. So if you look, on the drive side, we're down low, trying to get that, not all the way low, but closer in and pretty well centered with that. And then if you uh, flip it on around. look there it's in the center covering up most of it you sit there and uh follow the online one i'm thinking it's mostly between this one and that one um so i am happy with it next video show me installing it and uh Oh, I did take the adjusters off because I did tighten down my adjuster screws. So uh, I will have to get those on. I almost forgot about those. And re-tighten or re-torque them down. But I am happy with it. I'm going to uh, torque these down. And then... I need to finish working up on the uh, backing plates for the uh, brakes and I got all the brake stuff coming in but the next video will be me installing this along with the lube locker and getting that all set up and then getting ready for the brakes so uh thank you all for watching please like and subscribe if you like the content um you got questions you got comments about how I did something I mean I understand I might I'm not a professional mechanic. I don't have all the tools in my in my shop. I will say out of this whole third member project, the one thing I wish I would have went back and did is had the bearing on the pinion pressed on instead of hammering down with a with a punch. That was a pain in the ass. Um, if anything goes wrong with this rear end, it's going to be that bearing because uh, as much as I tried, I tried to not hit the cage it got tapped a couple times nothing horrible 
but I think that that will be my issue, if anything, out of this whole rear end. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. You got questions, you got comments. Uh, please let me know. Catch you on the next video.